here push on but what's up guys we're here push cards but guys we have push cards Guys, we're Bush Gardens, Tampa. I got it right. For the first time, seeing how it compares to the wonderful, the spectacular, the amazing Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. This one's like in a street corner, and it really is. This, but it looks pretty. I'm excited just to see and kind of compare and contrast to Williamsburg. But yeah, let's get it. Last day of Florida. <laughs> Iron Guazi, insanely good roller coaster, one of the best roller coasters I've ridden, and Velocicoaster and the Guardians ride. It's just been like a absolute combination or just line of, of great roller coasters I've ridden for the first time. Usually I'd be jealous. I'm like, dang, I wish Bush Gardens Williamsburg had a coaster like this. Let's just say there's a reason I'm not jealous. I'm more excited for Williamsburg. Williamsburg, you got Pantheon boots. Yeah, well, I also gotta say, one thing about this park is, you know, it's not Bush Gardens, it's Williamsburg. And it might just be just because, you know, I know I'm at a Bush Gardens. I don't know, it just feels more like home. It feels homey in the way that Bush Gardens, Williamsburg does. I guess it's because, I guess, like a subconscious thing knowing I'm at uh, Bush Gardens, Tampa. Definitely still has a different feeling than Disney and Universal parks with just being Bush Gardens. It's a little simple. Obviously, the budget's a little bit lower. Gotta say, it's a little bit older than Griffin, a little shorter than Griffin, and a little slower than Griffin. 
So Griffin obviously is the top of the two. It was very fun one. I think there's some elements in there that I wish Griffin had like we've done to the tunnel. I think it was integrated with the scenery a little bit more. It was a good ride, but now we're gonna go on to Tigris at Tempesto Park. So let's go. Not ever, ever, and I mean it, ever put a big fillet in which one's we first. Saying, Kumar, 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 I'm going with Dragonfire's cousin. He's a walking crazy. Damn. It is what it is. Just like Dragonfire. Yeah. Serengeti Flyer, sister to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, Finnegan's Flyer. I mean, I don't know for sure. I think I remember hearing something that it does go a little bit higher than that one. I know it had more seating. So I think it went a little bit higher. I think I felt a little bit more upside down than I did on Finnegan's Flyer also. In pure Bush Gardens fashion, some things just never change from part to part. And, uh, Doc and Siri right there. Guess what? Close down. It's like Moth Tower. Who's no longer with us. Some things have never changed for Tarns Bush Gardens. But we're moving on to a ride that I've been excited to ride since like 2012, 2013, or 2014, whatever it was. But I remember I was super hyped about it then. I was super hyped to 
Oh my gosh, right. And that's cheetah hunt. So let's get it. I've been watching videos, going to ride this ride for almost 10 years, possibly 10 years now. And that takeoff at the beginning, I had totally forgot about that and it was so awesome. It was just so much fun, especially like low to the ground and running like an actual cheetah. That was so awesome. I, I love this ride. Like Iron Guaz, of course, is like the best roller coaster in the park, but Cheetah Hunt, there was something cool about it. It's kind of like revolting. It's just like that coaster that's, you know, it's not the best coaster, but it's just something about that coaster that just makes you want to ride it over and over and over again. That's this crazy non-stop action trip. It's coming to a close. We're gonna ride the last attraction of the week, which is gonna be Cobra's Curse. And after that, that'll be the last ride of the entire trip. It's been an awesome trip. I hope you guys have enjoyed these vlogs. The vlog's not done yet. We still got some more to vlog, but we're at the end of the ride, so let's get. You know, this would be cool. I want Bush Farms Williamsburg to do this, an annual pass member lounge. Have a place where we can all chill, hang out, away from the craziness. Now that's what Bush Farms Williamsburg needs. that went backwards on a lift hill since I rode that one at Hershey Park eight years ago. The way it was spun around, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy, but you know, not in dark and broad daylight. It was really cool and just really spinning on the track with a new experience and like that. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed that ride. I didn't expect a whole lot going on to it and it truly blew me away. I thought it was awesome. I like the theming, I like the story part. It kind of felt more Disney-ish than Busch Gardens, which was really cool. I think Williamsburg could use a ride like that. I, I think it would do some good for him. Well, it's been like six insane straight days of non-stop rides. Feeling like a kid again this week, kind of letting go of all the outer world pressures and stresses and responsibilities and just having fun for six days. It's really been an amazing experience and yeah, let's see what the park has left for us in this little bit we got left. Let's get it. 
just like other days on this trip, the rain tried to hinder us, the storm came through. We were literally walking into the line for cheetah hunt and they shut it down for the storm that was coming through. Luckily it reopened and I was not gonna lie, I was quite disappointed when it looked like there was a chance we weren't gonna be able to get on the ride, but thankfully we were. The rain really tried to hinder us this week, you know. The only days it didn't hinder us at all was Animal Kingdom and Epcot. And Epcot, it did rain a bit, just not enough to do anything. So it tried, it tried, it tried to put a hindrance, but we didn't let it. Still got everything done and had a great, amazing time. As we wrap up today here at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay, this ride, this this park is really awesome. Obviously, I still prefer Williamsburg. Uh, grew up going there. A lot of nostalgia, a lot of emotion tied to it. So to why that will remain my favorite. It's not to say there's a lot of things this park has going for it. Like I said, Iron Gwazi is a coaster that Bush Gardens wishes they had. Another prototype drop tower broken all the time, so they got that going for them. But the wildlife here. The wildlife is it's so awesome just to look at. That's one thing that they got going for them here that Williamsburg kind of lacks. But we do have the wolves. We have the wolves. I think that's one thing we, we do have in the Clive sales. The wildlife aspect here, I think one thing Bush Gardens has is more stuff like everywhere you go. I think it has more things to do, more rides other than roller coasters. I think that's where it really pulls ahead. I think it has more stuff for kids. Um, more shows, but this park really is really awesome. I think Bush Gardens advantage also is that they have a whole plot of land, and Bush Gardens Tampa essentially has a street corner. But that's not the same thing. This park is awesome. Had a great time. Definitely want to come back again and ride everything again. the question of who has a better roller coaster collection, I have to go with Williamsburg. There's some like clones or very close version of coasters here that I think Bush Gardens just has an upgraded version of and Pantheon is a big thing obviously but this park has some winners too so but I have to say if you had to take the whole collection to them together definitely definitely Bush Gardens must work. definitely like a difference in airports only it's bright colorful it once he's cheerful and happy and it's dark it's dim it's small it's well Richmond, Virginia look I love my state I love my city but 
call it, it's tall I can see, you know what I'm saying? But I had a great week. Thank you for watching this vlog. Make sure to subscribe to our way. Make sure to if you enjoyed, make sure to stream my song Oblivious. And thank you and subscribe to the channel and go watch the other vlogs from this week because it was a fantastic trip and I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs as much as I enjoyed being here. It's a week that I'll never forget. My name is Will Morris and I'm out. Oh, I'm so oblivious.